There's two ways to turn your Autobahn on. One is starting your engine that will automatically turn the rear cabin power on or we can turn the main disconnect switch on here in the cabinet. As we can see here with this red indicator light, I'm actually on. This allows me to run all the functions in here as my lighting and my awning and so forth. But the next thing I want to do right after I turn this on, it's going to take about one minute. I want to go to our Airstream Smart Control and make sure that I have my inverter turned on and my entertainment circuit turned on along with my refrigerators. In order for our cabin heating or cooling to work, you must have your engine running. And you just go into the tab rear temp and turn it on from there after the engine is running. First thing we want to do is turn the stereo on, the Kenwood 991. We want to press and hold the home button or the power button. And then the stereo is going to come up. Once the stereo boots up or turns on, we want to log in as an administrator. So we want to touch the screen there. We want to go ahead and bypass the connection to the Wi-Fi. Now the Kenwood is getting logged in, and once it logs in, we're going to come up to our home screen. As you can see here, it's loading. Once this screen loads up, we're going to find multiple icons and screens. And to look around on these screens, we can simply pull over to the right or left. So I can take my finger here and pull to the left, as you can see here, or I can pull to the right. The first thing I want to do is log into that smart control system. So I want to find my browser. As you can see, the browser is located here. Another way I can do it is hit the number pad here, and I'll have more icons here, and I can scroll up or down on those. So first thing I want to do is go ahead and hit the browser button. And this is our smart control screen. This actually allows us to control every aspect of the Airstream Autobond. So the first thing I want to do is log into my power center. So I simply just push the power center button here. We want to make sure that we turn all of our items on. However, on our main off, the only time we want to use that function is for long-term storage. So we log into this screen. We want to make sure that our inverter is turned on, our AV power for our TVs and our Blu-ray player, our refrigerator is turned on, and in the case that our batteries need jump-started, say our engine would not start, but we have good power to the house, I can actually press and hold this button and that will actually jump for all of my batteries for one minute. I can control everything from the TV source, so where my signals are coming into my TV, whether they're coming in from my Blu-ray player, my Apple TV, if you have an aftermarket satellite system on here, and then I can do the same thing, whether it be the inside TV or an external TV that you have hooked up on the outside. On my Kenwood stereos, change it from AM to FM, change the volume again up or down, and change the source to that. TV, I can power it up from here. I can go into the menu, again, change channels. I can actually change the volume up or down. Same functions on the Blu-ray, from starting it up, to playing the video, to pausing it, fast forward, rewind. Same functions with the Apple TV. I can actually change the source, hit play, and then make sure that it's working on the inside or outside. If we need to log into our Airstream Smart Controls router, we need to go into the screen here and find settings. You may need to scroll left or right to find that. And as I scroll scrolled across here, I can see settings here, or I can simply just push the menu button and see it located here as well. So I want to hit settings, make sure that my Wi-Fi is turned on, as you can see here. Click on that line, and I can see the router here is NBR. The MBR1200 is the router for this unit. This number may change, but it's always going to be called NBR. So I would want to click here, and once I do that, I'm actually already connected. But if I was not connected, I would want to make sure that my ignition's off, my parking brake is engaged, and I would want to make sure that I put a password on, which is actually located on the back side of the keychain, as you can see here. If I wanted to use a smartphone or a tablet, I would want to follow the same instructions, find the MBR router, and then also reference in the quick reference guide or the narrative video that's included with this unit, the IP address, and input that in, and you'll actually log in to the Autobahn smart control system, and you'll be able to operate and navigate through the same menu. 
So we've turned all of our items on, our TV, our lights, we've adjusted our blinds and our sunscreens. Now we want to go out and operate our navigation system. All we need to do is press and hold our home button and we go out into the Kenwood main home screen here. And again, we can just scroll left or right to actually go into our navigation system. Not only can we control our unit by our Airstream smart control system, but we also have individual switches here that we can control all of our entrance lights, our courtesy lights, our indirect lights, our lighting on our awning, and our ceiling lights, along with underneath our cabinets above our seats. However, our TV and our main cabin air conditioner has to be controlled from our Airstream smart control. To access our TV, we want to open our door push our latch over, slide the TV completely out, pull our T-bar latch out, bring our TV down, and now push back into place until it latches. So now I want to store my TV. I want to reach behind the TV, engage this latch forward, pull out, pull my T-bar handle out, bring my TV up, and push back. In our number one overhead compartment on the driver's side, our Blu-ray player is located. In our third door back, we have an HDMI cable input for our front TV. Located on our passenger rear corner, we have a 120 volt outlet, along with a cable outlet and an HDMI outlet if we wanted to watch TV on the outside of our Airstream Autobahn. Underneath the hood on the passenger side you have a 120 volt input. This input allows you to plug in to any residential style 120 volt outlet. This will actually supply 120 volts to your unit along with charging the batteries in the vehicle. Keeping in mind that even though you're plugged in, the heating and cooling will not operate unless your engine is running. Removing our hitch cover, we have two latches on either side. We want to bring the locks towards the inside or towards the middle. Once we release those, we want to push back on the little metal tab. Once we release that, we can now pull down. Now we want to reverse that step, bring it back up, bring the top in so the tabs come in, bring those past. Once that locks in, and then we just want to slide those locks back out over the pin.